Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's episode, we'll be looking into how climate change is affecting coffee around the world and how coffee growers in Uganda are combating the effects to try and continue their production of the popular beverage. As global warming is threatening those two main varieties of coffee that many of us know and love, coffee growers in Uganda are attempting to create and promote a coffee that can stand up to the heat, drought, and pests caused by climate change. Galuba John, a farmer in Zairabwe, Uganda, is one of the coffee growers hoping to profit from this new coffee variety. He has been replacing his Robusta trees with the heat-resistant Liberica trees, and now has a large orchard of them with 50 Robusta trees and 1,000 Liberica trees. He is not only growing it, but drinking it as well, claiming it to be much more aromatic and tasteful than the Robusta coffee he's been drinking for years. In order to better promote and understand this new type of coffee, DR, Catherine Kawuka, a coffee specialist at the National Agricultural Research Organization, has been introducing the world to Liberica excelsa. This species of coffee is native to tropical Central Africa and is an important species of wild coffee. It is believed that this species of coffee might be able to provide the world with the coffee that it needs to sustain its coffee industry due to its heat and drought resistance. In order to better market and ship this coffee, a global coffee trading company, Ball Cafe, is hoping to ship up to three tons this year to specialty roasters abroad, including in Britain and the United States. Liberica excelsa is different from both Arabica and Robusta coffee due to the fact that it takes longer to mature growing up to 8 meters tall. Due to these differences and its hardiness, farmers from this region have been mixing Liberica into their Robusta and therefore not receiving the proper payment for the quality of their beans. Kawuka and DR Aaron Davis from the Royal Botanical Gardens in Kew, England, have been teaming up to further educate the world on Liberica excelsa. While in Zyrabwe, he took a sample of the beans and ground it in his hotel room, proclaiming that it had potential. He is no stranger to the risks facing coffee due to climate change, and his research has been finding that more than half of the world's wild coffee species are at risk of extinction. The hope is that, with DR. Kawuka and DR. Davis's help, farmers, like Diagracious Oaking will be able to sell their Liberica beans separately, meeting certain standards, to get higher prices for the quality of their harvest. This could provide important lessons for smaller coffee farmers and producers, demonstrating the importance of wild coffee varieties in a warming world. So how does Liberica excelsa, this new species of coffee, actually taste? DR. Davis claims that it's smooth, easy drinking, and has a strong aroma, much lower in caffeine than the Robusta coffee we're used to. He goes as far as to say that it's the Beaujolais Nouveau of coffees. To wrap up, we'd like to encourage everyone to keep an eye out for Liberica excelsa, this heat and drought resistant species, coming to stores near you soon. Until then, thanks for checking out this episode and stay tuned for more interesting content from us.